In this tutorial, we'll review the daily pickup process for the Entry Admin in CurbSmart. The Entry Admin is responsible for entering placards of arriving vehicles in the Car Rider line. If your school uses CurbSmart to release students to buses, then the Entry Admins may also be responsible for entering numbers of arriving buses. To get started, log into your CurbSmart account. We recommend using a handheld device like a phone or tablet for this role. Additionally, you'll want to make sure your device has a strong connection to the internet. As an entry admin, you'll enter placards from the entry screen. Before dismissal begins, you'll see a green Begin Release button at the top of your screen. When you're ready to begin entering numbers, press this button to start the release process in CurbSmart and unlock the placard entry field. This button also serves as the cutoff point for any changes to student information or ride changes for the day. There are two ways to enter arriving placards. The first is to use the Quick Entry tab. With this method, simply type in the placard number and press Enter. You'll see this placard and the corresponding students immediately appear in the list below. The other method is to use the Verify Entry tab, which allows you to review certain details first before confirming the placard number. Enter the placard number and you'll see the list of approved pickups. You can select the specific person who is picking up the students today, which will be reflected in the student history reports. Next, you'll see the list of students who are assigned to this placard, and you can deselect any student that is not getting picked up by this adult. This could be helpful if your school releases grade levels from different entrances. Additionally, depending on your school's settings, you may see an orange Add Student button. This button allows you to search and temporarily add another student to this placard for today only, like if the adult is picking up another student but hadn't informed your school about the change before dismissal. Lastly, you'll see any other confirmation details like the street address associated with this placard, vehicle information, or additional notes. When you've reviewed the information, click the Confirm button to enter the placard and the students into the list. As placards are entered, the students will appear in that order and will be automatically assigned to your pickup location and station depending on your school setup. If your school uses this feature, you will see that information displayed below each student's name. Otherwise, you'll just see the student's name. Students will disappear when they have been released from CurbSmart. You may see a third tab called Arriving Buses if your school has opted to use CurbSmart to release buses. On this tab, the entry admin will enter the bus number or name, review the students who are riding the bus today, then enter the bus in the list. On the Verify Entry and Arriving Buses screens, you can swipe to the left to view the students and buses that have been entered. Next, let's take a look at a couple of options. First, if you don't know the placard number of the arriving family, click the magnifying glass icon to search for a student by name instead. Enter the student's name, select the correct match, and the student will be entered into the list. If you've mistakenly entered the wrong placard number, swipe to the left on that placard number and click the red trash can icon to undo the entry. If you need to send an announcement or update regarding a specific student, swipe left on that student's row and click the All Call button. Enter any specific notes or instructions, then click Save. All CurbSmart users, regardless of their role or filters, will see this red alert banner appear at the top of the screen. Click the menu icon in the upper right corner to access additional options and tabs. Click the All Calls tab to make a general announcement, which could include changes to a dismissal plan, notifications when buses or walker groups are ready to be released, and much more. The Student Search tab is helpful for locating a student's latest release history or viewing other details like their assigned classroom, activity, or bus information. This concludes the video tutorial. Thank you for choosing NutraLink Technology.